Hey guys, today we are going to learn how to split a text using five different ways in Excel. Splitting text or separating text is one of the major exercise in cleaning your dataset. So one of the easiest way is using text to columns. It requires no functions and that's why it's the easiest. But it is also static because every time if your data changes, you have to repeat the process. Okay. So if you want to implement text to columns, you just need to select the data. Like in this data, we are having the website, the city, as well as the country name. And we want to have them in three columns. So I go to data and then on the right side, I will have text to columns. Now text to column is having two ways of splitting the text. One using delimited and other using the fixed width method. Okay. Most of the time you would require delimited method. Delimiter is nothing but a separator in your data set. Now this is the combined column. If I use space as a separator, this is how my data will be splitted. Okay. If I use not space, but a comma in the separator, then this is how my data will be separated. Now in this case, I can say comma is the separator and another separator is the slash and I get three columns. Okay. When we click on next, you need to define, you get an option of deciding what kind of columns are these. So first one is a text, second one is also a text, third one is also a text. But in other cases, for numbers, you can use general, for dates, you can use this option. And if you don't want a particular column, you can also select the fourth one. After splitting, where should your data go? This is the cell of that range. So if we keep it same place then it will be replacing this existing data set also. When I click on finish, you can see first column, second column and third column. Now only issue with this text to column is that if something is getting changed in my data set, you have to repeat the process once again. Okay. Now let us learn the new functions which have been introduced recently in Excel. Using functions for splitting the text was always difficult. Now how these new functions are helping us? Let us see that. Let us learn text split function. So this is our data set where comma is the delimiter. And if I want to split it using a function, function name is text split. And that's the one. Take the cell. What is the delimiter or separator? I will put comma and then close the bracket center and all the three columns are there and you can drag it down for other cells and there you go you may observe that we have used functions so if any change is there in the data set like if tomorrow this becomes another country in Saudi then it will automatically reflect that let's say we have just one cell and I want to separate all these features of Excel into different different cells so here I will, so here I will use the same function text split text is this rather than putting column delimiter, I will keep the column part as blank and I will mention my delimiter in the row delimiter section, close the bracket and press enter and same text is splitted into rows. This was never possible in Excel earlier. So this, so the new text split function gives you ability to split your text into columns as well as rows based on a certain delimiter. Also, you have an option of ignoring empty spaces. So if there are two commas consecutively, it will ignore that particular blank cell. Let us come to other two functions which can help us. So earlier I have shown you that. So to split this text before and after hyphen, this is what we have done. Some of you may understand these formulas easily, but for most of you, these are nothing but complex. So how our new functions can help us here? So there is a function now known as text before. And you mention the text. You mention the delimiter, which is hyphen in this case, and close the bracket. So anything before the first hyphen, you will get it directly. So you mention the text, you mention the delimiter and you get text before that delimiter. Okay. Same goes here. 
there is one more function which is text after you take this text you mention the delimiter and close the bracket and you will get the text after the hyphen this is also having the flexibility to choose if there are multiple hyphens or multiple delimiters in the text like in this case i want the text before hyphen but before the second hyphen so here after this delimiter you can mention the instance of that hyphen that means i am ignoring the first hyphen but i want to consider second hyphen for the splitting press enter and you can see the result same goes here also you can say i want the text after hyphen but only after the second hyphen and that gives you the correct result so that's it from my side hope you found it useful please share your feedback in the comment section and if you are new to the channel please subscribe our channel that will help us a lot thanks for watching see you in the next video